It's beer o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Brewdog's Pina Playa. It's a pina colada Gers ale with natural flavours coming in at 5.2% ABV. And I'm quite excited to be holding this beer in my hand. Uh, the reason for that is it's come from Brewdog's new brewery in Ohio in America. This is the first time I've had the chance to try anything from their new brewery. Uh, I'd like to say a massive thank you to Brewdog in Cardiff. Uh, for the can. Thank you very much. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Brewdog is still expanding as a company. It's quite exciting to sit back and watch it. Watch them grow as a company. Uh, they did the first round of fundraising oh, probably about five years ago now moved in it into a state-of-the-art brewery in Scotland and then they've done like a few other rounds of fundraising fundraising after that and they they've opened a brewery in Ohio in America uh, they now have an airline uh, they now, ha now have a hotel um, and something else as well oh they have a, a a sour beer factory facility should I say in Scotland so so they're really kind of growing as a company oh and the other thing I've noticed and this is the big thing for me they're starting to move into the main areas of the high street uh, somebody sent me an article the Brewdog in Edinburgh have opened a bar bang in the middle of, of the center of of May I think it might be Edinburgh or Glasgow one of the cities up in Scotland Forgive me for not getting the city exactly right, but in a shopping center, in a state-of-the-art shopping center, Brewdog now have a bar. Where, where I live in, in Cardiff in South Wales, it's kind of like off the side street a little bit. It's not on the main drag of the, of the city center. And they're never really gonna go mainstream if they're, ne if they're never on the main high street. Does that make sense? If they're there, if people are walking past it day after day, uh, that craft beer image, that craft beer sign, they're going to get the urge, they're going to want to try it, they're going to they're going to want to know all about this, 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 I'm not going to say a new style of beer, it's been around now for, for a long time. But yeah, they're getting there, Brewdog are getting there as a company. Been holding this beer now for a couple of minutes, gassing on, uh, we've got a slightly hazy... straw coloured beer, lots of carbonation, let's get the aroma, coconut, pineapple, a tooty fruitiness to it, jam, strawberry, plum, it smells good, let's dive in, cheers everybody. Uh, oh wow, um, that's different. Um, that's really different. Um, there's a nice sour sourness to it. It is a gerza. It is a goes, goes. Sorry, not gerza, goes. Slight saltiness to it. Slight sourness to it. It's really tropical, it's very much like a juice. Very much like a juice, this beer. And as you, as with all of these lovely kind of gozes and lambics, you get that, that sourness to begin with. And then as, a, as more of an aftertaste, the finish of the beer, it's like this nice kind of wheaty, biscuity, bready finish. Which I do like from this style of beer. I, if I'm going to be perfectly honest with you, I, I maybe would have wished it was it was slightly more sour. It's not as sour as it, as, as it could be. Tropical fruit juice up front, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sourness. But you know, you've seen me do sour beer reviews before on the channel, and there's times where I'm like. Oh, blind me you know wow this is so sour there's none of that coming uh, today from this beer they have mentioned they have mentioned the sourness on the back end uh, what have they said 
for, for a thunderclap sharp salty finish so in, in beer reviewing terms in in terms of people who judge judging beer competitions we generally say sour they've called it sharp and salty I kind of understand that because before I got into the beer industry I would have described it as sharp Ooh, that's sharp you know like when you have a glass of grapefruit juice but then you, then you evolve as a reviewer and you say sour and, and then you use the right terms and conditions if you like it's nice it's nice it's they're a big company now Brewdog they really are um, airlines hotels breweries they're building a brewery in Australia America they got one in the UK they got a sour facility in the UK uh, it's never ever going to be like complete craft beer anymore um, it took me a long time to come to terms to that to that idea that they're not going to be craft craft anymore um, because they're such a big company um, I've kind of got over it accepted it uh, I do still miss the brew dog of old I still miss their they, they, they were one of the best producers of craft beer years ago when I first started drinking Punk IPA probably in 2010, 2011 it was an incredible, incredible beer uh, now they, they're producing beers that are, that are they, they, they're not like complete mainstream beers I mean I'm drinking the Salty Goes here um, but they're not to the level of, of I don't know, say other half trillion dayer verdant cloud water but they're not trying to compete with that they're not trying to compete with that anymore they they they, they are becoming they're going to become a blue chip company they're going to become a blue chip company massive massive plans i mean if they got airlines and hotels they're not going to stop are they they're not going to stop going forward for the craft beer movement i suppose uh if they could get more of their bars bang in the middle of high streets say Manchester, London, <coughs> Bristol, Cardiff, New York get them on the main high streets get the word of craft beer out there um, get people to, to, to maybe not drink your Carlins, your Fosters, your Stellas and, and move on to stuff like this and maybe use Brewdog as a stepping stone to better beers maybe that might be the answer for me, that, that would make me very happy. Um, the more people drinking craft beer, the, the better for me. Um, so what I'm saying is here, you probably get what I'm saying. They're never going to they're never going to be knocking the doors down anymore of, of, of Verdant and Daya, Northern Monk. But I'm over that now. I'm over it. Let's rate it. Small amounts of coconut flavour mixed with pineapple and I like the bready biscuity finish. What did I say it was? 5.2% ABV. No really a kick of alcohol coming through. Um, one of the least interesting girls as I've tried. Um, I've had a lot better. Um, it's yeah, it's it's a 6 out of 10. It's a 6 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.